yard pests that burrow in the ground in Georgia. In the warm, humid Georgia climate, gardeners are not strangers to dealing with pests. Bugs proliferate in this climate, but plants are vulnerable from below ground, as well. If there are holes in the yard and the nearby plants look unhappy, do a little investigating to find out what's going on below. The Big Burrowers Groundhogs and armadillos are the largest animals likely to be found burrowing in Georgia gardens. Both are about the size of a cat, but they look completely different in every other way. Armadillos have plate-like armor covering their body, while groundhogs are covered in short, fuzzy brown fur. Groundhogs are herbivores, emerging at dawn and dusk to feed on succulent garden plants. Armadillos prefer grubs, earthworms, spiders and other insects and will destroy a lawn or garden bed on their nightly hunts. Groundhogs, also known as woodchucks, inhabit only the northern half of the state. Armadillos were once found only in the warmer southern half of Georgia, but have since expanded their range to the entirety of the Peach State. Little Critters All regions of Georgia are home to chipmunks, rats, moles and voles. These critters make two-inch diameter holes in the yard with the exception of tiny voles that leave a one-inch opening. Chipmunks and rats excavate small dents and are a minor nuisance, occasionally chewing on tree bark and buried irrigation tubing. The tunneling action of moles creates a raised mound of soil wherever they go. This makes a mess of the lawn, but they actually eat a lot of insect pests, rather than plants. Voles, on the other hand, chew on the roots of many plants, especially bulbs and tubers. Holes in the Yard Raccoons and skunks don't live in burrows in the yard, but they do make holes searching for food and are prevalent throughout the state. If you find round plugs removed from the turf overnight, one of these critters is likely the culprit. Squirrels dig shallow holes, too not to find food, but to store their nuts. Even earthworms make what looks like a small burrow, but they are just piling up their castings in the process of aerating and improving the soil. Taking Action Groundhogs and armadillos prefer to burrow in brushy, overgrown areas, so cleaning up the yard to eliminate their favored terrain discourages them from setting up shop in the area. Once they move in, poisons or traps are the preferred methods to dispatch them. Various repellents also exist for these and the other underground pests, but effectiveness is variable. Castor oil is a natural product known to keep critters away and does not harm plants. If the activities of the animals are tolerable, inaction may be the best way to proceed. Each animal has a role in the greater ecosystem, often helping to control the populations of other pests.